I'm Debbie, and today we're in the Spring Hill Greenhouse to talk about roses. Now, how often when you think about roses, do you imagine a plant that looks like this? Don't you usually imagine going into a garden center and looking at field-grown, bare-root roses, which, frankly, look like an angry pile of sticks, right? So what we're going to talk about today is own root roses, and we're going to talk about the difference between budded roses and own root roses. Now a budded rose is stuck onto an understock and grown in the field for two years. So by the time you see it, it looks like this full grown plant. Now own root roses, on the other hand, have a great number of possibilities in terms of how you can purchase them and plant them. The only difference is that you take a cutting of a rose variety and it's stuck into a cell tray and then it can be transplanted into a pot like this. So, what are the benefits of buying an own root rose? Well, as you can see, you can get a plant that looks like a petunia or a pansy and that has the same ease of planting, but you already have color on it. So for those of us who are very impatient and have want instant gratification in our garden, now we have a rose that will give us immediate color. It's also going to be cheaper than a bare root rose and it's gonna give you a root system that you can see here is already established. All you have to do is just break it open a little bit, put it in the ground, boom, you're done. One more benefit to own root roses is that they're more cold hardy than their budded counterparts. So go ahead, try an own root rose today. They're simple to grow. 